The federal government has backed a major review of the education system that's called for a more individualised approach to learning. The report by David Gonski says too many children are failing to reach their potential because of the restricted nature of school years. It's also proposed new literacy assessments and a fresh look at years 11 and 12. National education reporter Natasha Robertson has this story. At this school, it doesn't matter what class you're in. It's your progress that's important. And you are going to roll the two dice. Every child does learn a little differently. And sometimes it's about the relationship that they have with their teacher. Sometimes it's actually about the language that's being used. It's a model that the federal government wants all schools to emulate under the second instalment of the Gonski education reforms announced today. There is never time to waste and I think it'd be wonderful if we can get cracking with it straight away. The report recommends moving away from progression based on school year, individual learning plans and a national inquiry into years 11 and 12. There's also a new online assessment tool to diagnose literacy and numeracy levels, a national research institute and a unique identifier to track students. So why is it needed? Well, Australia's standards have been slipping. Internationally, in 15 years, in reading, students have gone from 4th to 16 in the world, in maths, from 7th to 25th, and in science, from 4th to 14th. We've got to do better. We've got to do better for our kids. According to Mr Gonski, the key to personalised learning is tracking performance. But what we found talking to teachers and listening to them is that if they could be given what we called a tool, which the new technologies can allow, they could be, as one teacher put it, in the driver's seat. The teachers' union wants to take a closer look. Recommendations from this review will only be successful if our schools have the funding to take that forward. To me it looks as though there's a lot of encroaching on, um, on teacher time and for not um, any obvious benefit for many of them. The federal government will put its proposals to state education ministers on Friday. Natasha Robinson, ABC News.